Hey guys, here are my socials. You guys can follow me on all my social media platforms. The links are in the description. And last but not least, before you like this video, make sure you sub and put the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to put fuck. I wasn't even trying to go live tonight. But you know what? I had to face it because I would have to face it anyway. Um, appreciate everyone that's gifting and subbing and all that shit. I really appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. For real. Um, but uh, let's let's get into it, man. Let's talk about everything that's happening and shit. Uh, so, um, last night, if you were in my stream with that podcast, you kind of already knew what the f*** was going on and shit, right? See, Wolfie, thanks for the 25, bro. Again, it's just really unnecessary, guys. I really fucking appreciate it, though. All the gifts and subs, just fucking dope. Appreciate you guys so much, man. 28K off of all noties. Fucking crazy. Love you guys, man. Uh, look, man. Ah, I'm, I don't even know where to start. Let's just start when, uh how I met this girl and all that shit, right? So you guys already, I don't know if, I, like my come up story is kind of crazy. One day I want to make like, a fucking movie about it, bro. Cause it's really, it just happened like so quick. Everything just happened so quick and fast. And and um, first off, I want to start by saying, if you're ten talking any negativity towards her, I'm mutual with her. We're on very good terms. So I'd really appreciate if you guys can respect me. If you have some sort of respect for me, just, 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 just please. She's a very good person and I'm going to get into everything, okay? Um, I made this relationship public to my audience. I have to address everything, but I have to, you know what I mean? I, I, that's, if I, if I didn't go public, I would know you guys anything, but I owe you guys this shit. So I want to talk about it, get through it and then not talk about it. Okay. And if you have respect, then you have respect. If you don't have respect, then I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I know a lot of you guys are going to laugh, but I'm genuinely serious. You should have been fucking swallowed. You should have been a bo I, 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 All right. Let me just chill, bro. I was just really mad because a lot of you guys were fucking... After I made that tweet, a lot of you guys were fucking like DMing her and shit, like to hurt herself and like do all this crazy shit. And that's what got me really mad, you know? But let's just talk about the beginning. All right. So first off, I met this girl off an app. <laughs> if you were at, if you were there, you know. It's I met her off an app called Monkey. It's like Chat Roulette Omega. I used to do monkey streams on my Twitch streams uh, back in the day for content. I met this girl off there, right? I met up with her in person. We developed a relationship and whatnot, whatever. She literally watched me go from like 100 viewers to like what I'm averaging now. And like, she was the only, one of the only people that never switched up and changed as to why like, when I got it here. My, some of my friends and even family treat me differently th from a year ago when I was averaging 100, 200 viewers. So yeah, it's just fucking crazy. She never switched up. She always held it down. She was very loyal, very funny girl. And um, bro, that shit was just awesome, bro. Um, but let's talk, man. I think, I think, I think me being the distance and her seeing me, you know, get this, get this, these numbers up and stuff. And it started to change kind of a little bit of me. I, I'm like not really used to everything. I'm kind of like new to this fucking big number shit. I mean, like, let's be honest, chat. Facts or no facts. You didn't know who I was a year ago. Like, I I'm being honest. Nobody really knew who I was a year ago. I came up really fast, bro. Like, it takes a long time. These people do this shit for 10, 20 years, bro. And, like, they really don't fucking know facts. Okay, well, some of you guys are going to say that. Majority of you guys. I'm going to say 90% of you guys didn't know who I was a year ago. You know what I mean? I know some of you guys did. I know that. I know that. But, listen. I honestly knew ever since I was 12 years old I was going to make it in this industry. I knew I was going to do it. I used to play games. I used to commentate hours. I was playing the games. I knew I was going to do it. This is... I, I'm, I'm just not excited anymore. It's, it's, I feel, I feel inhumane and I feel soulless in a way. I didn't sell my soul, no weird shit like that. But lately I've just been fucking drained, bro. And it affected my relationship with my girlfriend and it made me become a bad boyfriend to my girlfriend. So, um, yeah, bro. Like I, I, I mean, that's, 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 that's just really it. Like, again, if we're coming from the start, I know I'm all over the place. Sorry from like, keep going from there to there to there to there. Basically, bro, like, I just, I genuinely, like, I genuinely just, I lost my ways, bro. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm not, I'm not the same Aiden. You know what I mean? When it comes to, like, maturity, though. I believe that I'm still here as a, as a person. You guys know that I haven't changed for the Twitch views and all that shit. But I start to question and doubt myself because of what happened and how things ended up. Because I'm still in love. I still love this girl, bro. You guys know I do. And uh, it's just, it's fucking insane. Um, it, it, I didn't believe it. it feels just so like not real, you know, it's just crazy. Uh, but it's official and, uh, anyone putting an L again, 
you know you're 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 a fake you're a fake supporter because you know how much of a good person she is, bro. You know how much of a good fucking girlfriend she was to me. You know that. Put the W Stacy in the chat. And if you fucking have the audacity to message my girlfriend when we're both battling this shit and you're being negative and you and you have the audacity to say hurtful things to her and and me, you you deserve to go to hell, bro. Like genuinely you deserve to fucking like I gotta really be careful what I wanna say. I have so much emotions throughout my system, but she did nothing wrong, bro. It was all me. So be mad at me. If you're gonna point fingers and shit, do it to, to me, not her, you know? Um but nah, bro, I, 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 uh, if you're, if you're one of those people that genuinely like are a troll, you just make, you make everything worse, bro. And I love you guys, man. I love all of you guys, but the people that know when it's time to be serious, I genuinely appreciate you guys. You guys are a different type of fucking support group. You know what I mean? But look, man, I'm not going to sit here and blame you guys. This is my fault. Every I'm taking accountability for all this shit. You know, I'm being, I'm manning up because at the end of the day, bro, this is my relationship with her. It's really nobody's business, bro. And oh shit, I gotta take this call. Oh, okay, nah, nah, nah. I, uh, I, uh, a phase member was calling me. I'm not gonna say which one. Anyways, yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up. I have really, really big plans these next few months. I'm all about my people. I don't I don't care where you guys found me. I met Cuffin months back. That motherfucker's a brother to me. Snaggy, Bronny, they're all brothers to me, bro. These motherfuckers have never changed. I've never changed to them. You guys know I've never changed. I act like myself. When I'm on 2K, I got that song voice playing and you guys are ear raping me as I'm playing the fucking game raging. It's the same Aiden, bro. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm going to find a way to put all my people on. Even people who watch me, I want to change their lives. And that's all I've been wanting to do. I've helped so many people grow from this SSB world shit. It just makes me so fucking thrilled and excited, bro. And yeah, me and Shnaggy and Cuff, we butt heads sometimes. We might get into arguments and fights and shit. It's part of being a brother, bro. Real shit is part of being a brother. These motherfuckers are, are brothers to me. All of them, bro. All of them are brothers to me. And let me tell you guys right now, I just got off the phone with Cuff and Shnaggy. Wait till you guys see what we're about to do, bro. Oh my God. Listen, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, if you think 2020 was my year, 2021 is our year, all right? I'll tell you guys right now, I'm still going to rep SSB out of respect for Stacy. You know what I mean? I love her, bro, and she's she's the best, and uh, you know what I mean? Like, I just want you guys to know, man, like, I'm never, ever going to change up. I won't do it. W, you finally changed your shirt. You're a weird... Yo, white guy, you're weird as fuck, bro. Shout out to white guy, bro. He's literally, like... The number one mod who never, like, changed. You guys know how OG white guy is, bro. Motherfuckers been watching me ever since I had, like, 300, 400 viewers, bro. It's fucking crazy. Same with Sync and Corday and Prod and uh, all you guys, bro. For real. All you guys, man. Will Gazin, Sam, all you guys, bro. J Money. <laughs> Look, man, I, uh, genuinely, though, I love you guys, man. And, uh, everything happens for a reason. What You know, if, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, you know, and, um, yeah. It's that, bro. I just, um... Yo, Lord, thanks for the five, bro. I appreciate you. I, I Here's my thing, though, bro. I just want you guys to understand, like, I'm really new to this shit. I'm very new to this shit. So give me time to get used to all this, okay? My life is not the same. I can't go to a, a rolling loud with me and my, my boys from high school without, you know, being fucking recognized. And I love it. XL, thanks for the 10 gifted. When I started getting recognized, this shit was in like July, right? But like, it's different because I actually have anxiety when it comes to seeing you guys in person. And, it, and again, it, 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 I love it, bro. I love it. And if I'm out with my family and stuff, I love meeting you guys. I love talking to you. I love taking a picture. But I'm new to it and I get anxiety and I still, bro, I see it all the time. I act like I have, doesn't matter how many viewers I have. I've been act, like, bro, I don't know when you guys found me in shit. Coda, thanks for the five. Listen, listen, just listen, listen, just listen to this. Guys, how many viewers did I have when you guys found me? Be honest, bro. Everyone be honest. Be honest right now. This leads to my next question. Be genuinely honest with me. 300, 2,000, 1,000. Tell me right now that I have not. Chat, have I changed the way I act on stream? Be honest. Have I, have I, have I went on, like, be honest with me. No. Motherfucker, I'm Aiden. And I won't change. When I'm 40 years old, I will still 
fry you motherfuckers. I will still fucking, bro. Yes, you got uglier. Yo, Miles Brown, suck my dick and fuck you. You're bald now? All right, bro. I did that for you guys, by the way. I shaved my head for you guys. I have perfect curls. I fucking shaved my head for you guys, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really eaten anything today. I have no energy. This is gonna be a short stream. We're gonna get into some RP, hopefully. But, man, I genuinely want you guys to know I've, I've, never, I've never ever changed up on you guys. And I've never ever changed up on my friends. And um, everyone eats. Everyone spam, everyone eats. Spam W, Stacy for me. Just put the Ws, man. No negativity. None of that, okay? All right. And yeah, bro, on top of all this shit, I suffer a, a health condition. All this shit in which I really felt like I, I had to go to the hospital earlier, bro. My stomach was so tight, bro. So tight. Fucking crazy. Um, I, and I think it has to do with anxiety and nerves. Partially. So I got to talk to Cuff him because that motherfucker Cuff him, shit, he can eat and eat and eat and not get a stomach kick. You know what I mean? So Cuff him, I'm going to need you to help me out, bro. I know I locked the refrigerator and shit, but you can't be mad at me. You know what I mean? Like you got to help me with some fucking stomach exercises or some shit. No, I know I have irritable bowel syndrome. I know I do, but it's something deeper than that, bro. I got to repair my fucking uh, microbiome or whatever the fuck it's called. But nah, bro. Appreciate y'all to get the cells, man. I want to let you guys know, man. I love you guys. So we're going crazy. And Roy still has no teeth. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what I mean? So, we're lit. We are fucking lit. I promise you guys right now. This stream right now is dedicated to Stacy. And yeah, I'm still bald. I know. Okay? None of the bald jokes. When I grow my hair back, what's the new joke gonna be, bro? You got nothing to bash me for. You got nothing to bash me for. <clears throat> nah, bro, but uh, I'm, I'm really, I, I fuck with Stacy. Champ, Clevs, they're gonna five. So if you care about me in some type of way, I know you guys troll me. If you care about me in some type of way, you will, you, will, you will take what I'm saying into consideration and not bash the person who helped me get where I am today. She's more than a friend. She's, in a way, my twin flame, you know? So I don't know if you believe in that shit, but, but, but man, come on. All right? I want you guys to have some fucking respect for me. You care about me. If you genuinely care about these streams, you care about my mental health, please. Plastic teeth, Royce. Let me tell you something, you fucking little shit. You need veneers too, bitch. Anyways, bro. When I get back out to LA, I'm hiring a personal trainer. I'm getting a chef. I'm gonna get into some, the healthiest of my body. I'm gonna be the healthiest motherfucker there is. You know why? Because health is number one. I wanna fix this stomach problem, bro. I told you guys, this year I wanna fix my stomach problem. I'm going out there, bro. I'm gonna get a trainer. I'm gonna get all this shit, bro. Okay? All right. And the grind won't stop. We're gonna start the IRL channel. We're gonna start that shit. But I'm letting you guys know. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not making a, uh, I'm not making a fucking, um, I'm not, I'm not joining FaZe. I love FaZe. I love the members. All of them, bro. I'm close to all my, all the FaZe guys. I'm just not, I'm not joining FaZe. No, no, no. I, I gotta start my own shit. You know why though? Because I gotta start my own shit to where you guys can be inspired type of way. If I join FaZe, that's like LeBron James. I, no, I'm not LeBron. That's like, who's a, chat, what NBA player am I like? That's like, Damn, bro. That's like, I'm going to get, you know what I mean? Like, what, what NBA player is that? What NBA player am I like? There we go. The Alex Caruso. The Mario Chalmers. Get the fuck out of here. All right, fuck it. I'm, I'm whatever you guys think. That's like me joining uh, uh, the fucking Lakers. The Lakers are already stacked, right? I got to win a couple trips of my own team. With that being said, Schnaggy, Cuff, Miles, Bronny, fucking Addy, Cannon, fucking bro, Prime, fucking Schnack. Wait, who am I missing? Celery stick. We're going to start our own shit, bro. We're going to go crazy. All right? So, Zane. How can I forget about Zane? Parit. All right, bro. But, um, but nah, bro. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. 